is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today we're going to talk about Apple Sports which is a brand new app that Apple has just released out of the blue that no one was actually expecting. So in this video I'm going to give you of course an overview of Apple Sports but also I'm going to tell you how you can get Apple Sports right now today anywhere you are in the world because I don't know if you know this but Apple Sports is only available in the US UK and Canada but of course you can get it anywhere let's go ahead and let me show you okay so all you have to do is open up the App Store and then naturally go ahead go to search tap on the search bar and then look for Apple sports right search and then just like that you see Apple sports right there and that's the thing if you are not based in the US UK or Canada you just won't see it you won't be able to see the app at all it won't show up for you and it actually doesn't have to do with location services with your GPS or which country you set you are in your settings it has nothing to do with that because it actually has to do with your Apple ID so unlike Apple News for example which you could just simply change your region in your settings and then Apple News will just show up this won't happen with Apple Sports because it relies on your Apple ID country. So your Apple ID needs to have the region set to US, UK or Canada, otherwise you won't be able to see Apple Sports. Please keep in mind that I'm saying this right now, day one, Apple has just released the app, but I'm definitely sure they will make this available for many more countries throughout the next weeks and months, okay? I'm talking about day one. So before I actually show you how you can actually get Apple Sports anywhere in the world, let me go ahead and give you an overview of the app, okay? So you see if it's interesting, you see if it's relevant, and if it is, you may think about doing the process and actually getting it, okay? So naturally, the app is free. You go ahead, uh, as soon as you are on this page, you go ahead and tap on Get, and then you will be able to get it for free. I already have it, so then uh, that's why it says Open, and then that's how it looks like. I'm doing this firsthand with you. I haven't even open the app just yet this is the first time I, I i interact with it all right so let's go ahead here and welcome to apple sports continue and right here as you can see we already have quite a lot of stuff here preloaded so of course i think the most interesting thing to do right now is to get started and select my favorite leagues and teams so get started as you can see right here unlock apple sports so pick your favorites as you can see let's tap on it and as you can see right there, we have here uh, all the leagues. So first we get the leagues. And as you can see right here, there aren't a lot of leagues. So actually the major league in the US, which is the NFL, isn't here. As you can see, we have NBA, NHL, we also have MLB, go Red Sox, right? But we don't have the NFL. And of course, we don't just have American sports. We also have the Premier League, which is the most famous football, actual football, right? Which Americans call soccer. So, which is the major league in football, the English league, right? We have Serie A, which is the Italy one. We have Bundesliga, which is the Germany one. And of course, France League One. So then, from France. So we have quite a lot of big leagues right here, uh, but we don't have the NFL and we don't have a big variety as you can see right there. We also have the MLS, which is American soccer, right? As you can see right here and a few others, but there's not a lot. So let's go ahead here, just get one example. So for example, the MLB, and let's go ahead here and look for the Red Sox, which should be Boston Red Sox. There we go. So I'm going to go here and get the favorite. As you can see right there, we can come back and we can do the same thing for other leagues as well. For example, NBA. I'm a fan of the Celtics. There we go. As you can see, Boston teams are a theme, right? And that's on purpose. And of course, we can do the whole thing here with other leagues. So uh, after that, you can tap on done and then you will already have your leagues, right? And your teams. So let's go ahead here and close that as well. And then this is the main page which will show you what's going on today yesterday and upcoming right and of course for my team so my teams are not playing today uh, they didn't play yesterday 
and upcoming so then you have upcoming games so celtics versus bulls it's always a nice game we have celtics against the knicks and then 76ers and so on so you can see uh, a few games in the future as you can see uh please keep in mind that right here we have a filter so we're just checking uh previous and upcoming games from my teams as you can see right there but of course if you tap here you will see more options for example my leagues so if you have favorite leagues it will show you everything for the whole league right we haven't picked any favorite leagues but it would show up but of course you can manually select it as well so for example if you go ahead here and select the Premier League you will see the exact same thing so today and let it load so we have a game today yesterday and then upcoming right and then you can see it will separate by day right so Thursday Saturday Sunday Monday and then if you tap on a day you see all of the games in this day specifically so as you can see right here and of course if you tap on any specific game for example tap on this one you will see the information about the match so Manchester United against Fulham the day the batting odds the standing so where Man United is actually on the standings for the Premier League and so on so as you can see uh it feels like the app is still kind of in a beta not because of the interface and the way it works because I think it's very intuitive it works like we expect uh, it works just like an Apple app so I really like the interface the way it works the way you, you see matches games the way you choose filters is super easy to see is super easy to to choose and favorite and everything like that but it feels like a beta just because we don't have many leagues as you can see right here just a few leagues and because it's just available in three countries but speaking about this let me go ahead and tell you how you can get it in your country whenever you are in the world right now. So, as I said, it has to do with the region on your Apple ID. And that's actually super easy to transfer and to switch. So all you have to do is open up the App Store itself, right? And then go to the first page today, as you can see right here, and tap on your profile picture. Tap there, and as you can see, you will see right here your Apple ID. Tap there once again, it'll load, and ask for your Face ID. So, it'll probably ask for Face ID any second now. As you can see, and then right here, you will see Country Region, United States. And that's how I managed to get the app, because this Apple ID is set to the US. So if you are not in one of the three countries that Apple Sports is actually available, you can just tap here on country and region and then let it load, right? And then change country or region. And the thing is, depending if you have a ton of subscriptions on your Apple ID, you won't be able to simply change like that. You will actually have to cancel the subscriptions and then change the country and then subscribe again so you really gotta see if that's worth it for you going through all this process okay if you don't want to do this you always have the possibility to just create a new apple id so you can create a new apple id and then on this new one you set the region to united states uk or canada and then you log in right here on the app store with this new apple id and then you will be able to get the app right so that's pretty much it you either change your region or you create a whole new apple id it's up to you so please keep in mind that at least for now you will need to do that so if you want to actually get a second apple id of course you will need to go back here to the app store tap here once again scroll all the way down sign out of this apple id and sign in to the new one which has the correct region to download apple sports right so uh it's kind of a thing it's kind of a process and i would only recommend you to do this if you really really like apple sports because otherwise i don't think it's a good idea to go through all that just for this app considering we have many other much better apps right now um i would recommend just waiting until it's available in your country or region all right so that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video as usual guys Bye-bye.